Rampart is a show that I originally conceived a good few years ago with um, Homotopia, the a queer festival in Liverpool, and then it developed into the show which it is today. So I create shows um, about what's what's irking me at the time or what's not, um, and so yeah, Rampart was kind of created out of that need to kind of like express and tell a story for my kind of like queer working class of colour perspective. I've been involved with Rent Party from the beginning, from the um, R&D in Manchester, where we had a completely different cast. The role has always been kind of made from me, Darren said, he had me in mind, which is really nice. And I think that at first, me coming from more of a dance background, I was really intimidated by having a speaking role. And I believe it's a part of me. And I think that I I get this, the, the, because I've been there from the beginning, I kind of get the natural way that it's evolving into the project that it is today. So Rent Party is really hard to define, but I think that's what makes it so brilliant. Um, it's kind of a bit cabaret, it's a blend of art forms, it's really fun and heartbreaking. Um, it's a really powerful and political show. But it's also a, um, a telling of six different people's stories throughout their life. It might just be an aspect or a moment of their life. Um, but yeah, it's also as well a real deep dive into um, queer existence and queer living, especially the one for Peterborough. But it actually originates from the 1920s Harlem, New York, where black starving artists would put on rent parties for their friends and their friends would pay their rent, give them tips for their talents. The Rent Party cast um, involves new people to Jumped Up and also people who are telling stories in new ways. It's also got lots of live music in it and is also created in Peterborough, which we also haven't done for a long time. The whole process has been lovely and I feel as artists we're really supported and we've been treated very, very well. Yeah, I think it's quite a vulnerable show. I think it's it's very real. It's not too stagey or like performy. Everybody's very much who they are and they get to show that, which is nice. I think it differs in that it's so personal to the performers that are in it. Um, usually you get, well, most of the time, you get given a script, a character, and your journey is to kind of learn those lines. Whereas as performers, we've really been asked to put our own stamp on it. So we've all written our own monologues and we're portraying ourselves having to kind of knock down those barriers of performing and being like, okay, actually, this is my authentic story and I'm going to tell it to you as I would tell my friends has been a challenge, but an exciting one. And yeah, I'm excited for people to see it. It's probably one of the only time, actually, no, it is the only time where I've been um, asked to talk about uh, myself, your stories, it's your thoughts, even like the whole process is you and the director or you and the producers and the director or, you know, every vision is sort of, also you're added into the process whereas a lot of the other experiences I've been involved with have always been like stand here say this or stand here sing this and once I took the bravery on of what it would be to share that story I found a lot of I found it's made me more at peace with with that and it's a bit like counseling in some respects that once you address it there's no more demons that can be hung from there so I'm a lot lighter having shared this and I think art therapy has got a lot of um, a lot to do with Rent Party and I think that we'll all probably have some sort of therape therapeutic story from it as well as just feeling happy that we're working. I think because it's so autobiographical, we've really bonded more so as a, as a cast. So you are actually joining a group of friends on stage and seeing as our, our real interactions with each other. The interactions between the cast members, they're not scripted, they're not rehearsed. So they will be different each time you come to see the show because we're real people telling our real stories. What makes Rent Party special is that it's honest, it's, I hate the word groundbreaking, but I genuinely think in this instance it is groundbreaking. It's powerful, it makes you laugh, it makes you cry, it's not censored. And the cast have all really bonded, actually. I think that's what makes it so special, is that we're all just really best mates now. Before this, we didn't know each other. Um, so I think that energy really shows in the show as well. 
the most kind of like joyous thing to watch is the connections between the cast members because you've got cast members that were born and bred here and very much in the scene and you've got people who are just on the outskirts of um this this the city and then you've got people who have just moved in here so it's really nice to see those connections being made and the plans that they're making together and stuff so yeah it's been it's been a really really joyous experience for me actually being here working with darren is always um a delight i've known him since i was 11. we both um, went to university together and trained as dancers together so we've got a lot of history and also there's a lot of parallels in our both being queer black Mancunian single parent mothers from working class backgrounds. So there's a lot of parallels that me and Darren have had. And I, I think on a personal level, me and Darren have complemented each other as friends and allies to each other because we've been through a lot of things at the same stage in life. And as artists, there's a lot of trust there. And I think that I, when I work with other directors, it's, it's, I don't have the same synergy and fluidity that I've not necessarily, that I've got with Darren. And I love that. It's fantastic working with Darren because he's got a laser focus as a director. He knows exactly what he wants. He's really supportive about making sure everybody does their absolute best, but he's also really challenging. So he doesn't, he doesn't take second best. He wants the absolute best. Um, he wants it to look great. He wants it to feel great. He wants the audience to have an amazing experience. And so when you've got someone like that, everybody really pulls out all the stops. He's amazing. Like... I was actually just saying this earlier, but um, he's like the dad you don't want to disappoint, uh, but in a really nice way. And he's really encouraging. And he's really like, you know what, babe, if it isn't for you, it isn't for you. Da, da, da. So, I mean, yeah, he's, he's just incredible and such a creative force as well. He's, he's fantastic. He really is. He takes the time to really understand and work with you and bring out the best in you and yeah he, he's great to work with he really is I didn't know of Darren beforehand my partner had seen Rent Party in Sheffield um, and he was actually the one who told me to apply but amazing Darren's so good he, we were just uh, talking about him earlier and how as a director he's amazing and wants to really celebrate the individual of the performer and he doesn't kind of try and shoehorn you to fit the show he builds the show around the performers it's honestly been one of the best projects I've ever been involved in. On a personal level, it's been really nice to be validated as a performer from someone outside of the city. Um, because you kind of, especially if you work locally a lot, the kind of the in, inner demons in your head tell yourself that you're only getting this work and you're only good because of the local people you know. So to have such a wonderful expert like Darren come in and push us but and also validate us and tell us that we're good and we're talented I think it's been incredible really incredible. Growing up in Peterborough being from Peterborough it's a very conservative town as a lot of people will know and it's almost like an assault on the senses but in a really good way because I think the people that will come and watch it will notice that actually this is really needed because you have five five people already that are having a queer experience and I think that towns like this forget that we are a very large community here stuff like this needs to come to peterborough more because then people can start to see it and sort of understand it because the people of peterborough need to see it in, in its simplest forms i think it's it tells the stories of real people in the city and quite often locally productions don't do that it shows people that you're not alone in the experiences that you've had and through the experiences we all talk about um in our monologues in the show i was actually really surprised something like that was happening in peaceborough i think it needs it i think um the different communities that are represented from the people in the show they have these communities here but there isn't always a space for it um, and I think to be shown in this light and to educate people as well as entertain people is really, really important. Well, I think as a gay man who, I only moved to Peterborough in 2018, and honestly, there's not that much for LGBTQIA plus people. And although I don't think that's initially what this show kind of set out to be, it is what it has become. And I think that's amazing that it's been celebrated. And I think this, 
stories that need to be told. We need to have a presence. And actually, this is giving us that. And I think opening up many doors for queer artists, which maybe haven't been there initially in Peterborough. I think it's important for a show like Rent Party to come to Peterborough because of the demographics and the politics of the area. I think that we're in Rent Party, we're not saying that these individuals are only from this individual place. We're saying that these individuals need to be nurtured wherever you go. And whether you can see them in your octave or on your day-to-day -day trip to the shop, they're there. There is queer people, there is black people, there is other, there is trans. And I think it's about raising the awareness and not raising the awareness, it's about normalizing the normality of the fact that we are everywhere. But Pete Barra just uh, until now hasn't had it. But the truth of the matter is we have to have it because there are more and more of us who are putting our heads up and coming out and identifying and actually we deserve to be seen and we want to see things that we can identify with. It's important to bring a show like this to Peterborough because it's new and it's fresh and it's exciting and it's a call to arms for people to listen to new stories and to try something new and to think about what their story would be. I think I really wanted to apply because there was nothing like this before. Obviously, it's a paid gig for me as a professional, which is amazing, and it, you don't get that many paid opportunities locally. And also, I think the party vibes, what I love about shows and projects and stuff is when it does have that blend of like super fun, cool, fresh party, mixed with like pain and p politics and power. I, like everybody, I think has struggled in the pandemic recently and the arts, um, I think to a certain extent, if I'm honest, I think I, m part of my confidence was knocked and I don't think that was necessarily to do with the arts. I think that was just, I think everybody's confidence has been knocked in the pandemic because we've not been doing the normal things that we get stroked by and that feed us and nourish us um, to feel more positive about life. So coming to work with the Peterborough cast, it's only reaffirmed my love for the arts, reaffirmed my love for people more than the arts, I would say. I love people, I love to hear stories and I love to connect. Rent Party in Peterborough is unique. It's the city's own story and one that we should listen to and be proud of. It's quite a privilege for people to be so generous with their stories and feel that this is a safe space for them to share and to also show off their talents in the most glorious way and to look stunning. This is the first live show. Um, in Medway it was a digital version because of the it was right in the midst of the pandemic that we was creating that, so that was the best way forward with that. And um, I've not done the other two yet, so this is a benchmark of what the other two have got to be or aspire to be as a live version of the show. Some love.